Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today, we're opening a very special box. Something that just came in. I believe it's from um, one of the manufacturers. I'm not really sure who it is, but it might be something exciting. So let's take a look. Today, I'm opening up with my Eye Mamba. This is an Arno Bernard design. Really cool polished hologram blade. Love that fuller. Works beautifully. Super glass to see it. All right, so what we have here, this looks like it's a Bridgeport design knife. So let's go ahead and take a look. Bridgeport 1827 20CV titanium. Thanks for your support. A little barcode if you want to take a look. Nice little clean cloth. That's actually a really nice one. So that's cool. We'll keep that. All right, nice little box. So here is the knife. It looks like kind of like a, I don't know, you would call it atomic wash, a stone wash sort of finish. It's got a nice little clip here, nice flexibility. Looks like an easy ramp on round, nice rounded clip. That's nice, chamfered all the way around. It is a front flipper. There's nice jimping all the way around. That's really cool. Pretty well extended down there. A nice little fuller. Let's see here. Pretty dead centered, yeah. Looks really nice. It looks like it's reversible, so yeah. So lefties rejoice. You could actually swap that out if you'd like. Relatively deep carry. It's not super ultra hidden, but it's not protruding or you know really high so that's really cool relatively deep that's pretty nice nice thin one compared to the imamba it's about the same size so interesting all right so let's go ahead and give it a flick use the fuller first pretty nice that feels like a hollow grind that is a hollow grind okay so that's a nice hollow grind there nice edge let's look at that edge looks pretty even on both sides a little longer down there at the base but that's all right Pretty even up there, not bad. Like that jimping, you could choke up here for sure. Pinch grip, yep, definitely. It's got a nice thick tip. This is definitely what I would consider it a sheep's foot. Some people might call it a Warncliffe. Some people might call it a reverse Tonto. I call it modify, because we're gonna call it whatever, whatever you suits you. I like this right here, nice cutout. Great access there to the lock bar. What are our lock up? We're a good 40, 50%, so that's nice, okay. Right here, it works pretty nice, not super sharp. I mean, it's not as rounded maybe as I would like, but it's not super sharp. Everything's, it's got a full backspacer back here. It's got a little, little jimping, a little stimpling or whatever on there. Got a little traction, that's kind of cool. I don't see a lanyard hole, which is all right by me. I'm, I don't miss one. I know if some of you guys would like one, that might be a problem. Wow, that action. Let's do that again. That's really nice, okay. That might be actually one of the very first one that might be really tuned well for a front flipper that I've ever had. Hold on. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I am thoroughly impressed. This does not need to be tuned or anything. At least that's my first impression, but very buttery. Oops, let me make sure I get up there. All right. Okay, so a little pressure on the lock bar. Looks like if you push down there, it might not deploy as well, but if you hold it up a little high, you're fine. So just make sure you hold up here and then flip and you're good. Okay. If I'm down here, can I do it? No. You gotta get up, up here. And then that works. Okay, so let me just get. Okay, sometimes my hand gets a little tired doing that lefty, not a lefty. So, but the front flipper works really nicely. Let's see here, is it? Yeah, it works pretty good. Not bad at all. I like this pivot, totally hidden, so it's gotta be a captive pivot. That would be such a shame to have a beautiful, like, hidden pivot like that and it not be captive and it spins that, oh, nothing worse than that. I've had one knife that did that and I did not care for that at all. That is like, to me, that's like treason. That's like lying, you know? I either have two screws if it's not captive, but don't, don't give me a knife that's, uh, okay, now I'm having a little trouble here. Hold on. There we go. All right. Now I feel like a little bit like an idiot. Let's see, can we do this again? There we go, okay, not bad. Okay, not bad at all, all right. So, the lock part, it's a little stiff. I mean, it's definitely on the, it's definitely got a nice detent, I will say. It's very smooth. I, I, the more I, I, I play with it, the more I feel like, all right, I might tune that just a little bit. I mean, it's not bad. I think this would be medium for like Kevin and folks who like strong detents. It's a little medium to medium high for me. I mean, it works for anybody who likes strong detents. You'll love this for your front flipper. I think it'll be tuned just perfectly for you. 
For me, it's, you know, the jimping is not super aggressive, so that's okay. Works pretty well here, so that's nice. I do like that. All right, so let's get, let's do a grip. I've got large hands, right? I get in here, large hands, I got a little extra room, so definitely from large to extra large hands, maybe double, double extra large. If you choke up, you definitely can choke up as long as you use a little spot right there and use the jimping. You could do that for a little, you know, pinch grip. So if you do a little precision cut, I like the tip. Pretty robust, comes to a nice thin hollow grind. It is nice and sharp for sure. I believe the manufacturer of this is Kubi. I did a really nice job, I gotta admit. Let's look, we got nice weight relief in there. Yeah, really good weight relief on, on the milling on the inside. Yeah, over here as well, you can see that really nice weight relief. So that's cool. Makes it not a super heavy knife. The action's really nice. That's really surprising. And I like the fact that there's a there's a sharpening finger troll right there where I can, when I drop it, see, it catches right there. So I don't have to worry about the guillotine on the finger. I do like that. To me, that's important, right? So, really cool. And I do like the, uh, the cutout here. It's a really good axis here. It's got a little, a little texture on here. That's kind of cool. And it's nicely chamfered, so it's an easy axis. And, and it actually has some texturing. I don't know if you see that all the way around here. And that texturing goes all the way around. That's oh, it goes all the way, around. all, all, all the chamfering is textured. That's a nice little touch. I don't know if you can see it. Let's zoom in. See if you can see that. See that texturing right there? That's pretty cool. You can see it right there. And so there's the texturing, but this is at a different angle, right? It's not the same angle at this texturing, so it gives it like offsets it a little bit. You can definitely see the lockup. It's really nice and solid. No blade rock. No pivot and lash. Let's listen to that detent. I'll zoom out just a little bit. All right, you ready? Do that one more time. No detent lash, no, nope. it's in there nice and solid. Very cool, all right. Pretty impressive so far, I gotta say. It is, it's a little thinner, but it's 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 thicker, so it gives you a nice, good, full grip on there. Again, I like the roundedness here, this doesn't dig in. This reminds me, I think, of Casey's knife that has that, ooh, I just noticed something, look at this. You gotta see that. Look at that texturing on the clip. That's a beautiful little detail. I like that, you can feel that on there. That's just, that's a nice little aesthetic. And even the texturing right in here, look at this, even the cutout, on the lock bar cutout, there's a little texturing in there as well. That's really cool. Sorry about my fingers, but anyways. Yeah, so this texturing around here is extended here, so that's kind of a theme. And again, I like the fill-in tab here. That's really a nice touch. It's very, very limited what you're seeing over here. One screw, and that's just so you can reverse the clip. You have a screw here and a screw here, and that's it. So really, really nice. And I did notice these are all T8s, I believe. Let me get my, my screwdriver set here. Zoom out just a little bit. So we have a T8 right here. There we are. So let's just double check. Yeah, T8. Even T8 there. T8 there. Yeah, T8 everywhere. That's really nice. All right, very cool, very cool. That's, that's great. Great T8s everywhere. That's a nice touch. I do like that. Man, this is gonna be really nice when it breaks in. I mean, it's already breaking in. It's not a guillotine drop, by the way. It's a very controlled drop. And you know me, I'm gonna probably put some skiffs in one of these, so. See how that goes. Really cool. Let me get in here. Yeah, there we go. So. It's gotta figure out where the magic spot is for this knife, for the reverse flick. The thing about it with my lefty, I'm not a lefty, my hand gets tired doing a lefty, and you know, I'm sure how lefty feels doing it right-handed if he has a lefty knife. But, very cool, still, dead centered, dead nuts. I do like the fact, can you see that? It is a hollow grind, how it comes down like that. Nice hollow grind. You can actually see that right there, with the hollow grind right there. So, that's very cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. All right, very cool little knife. So this is the Bridgeport 1827, 20 CV blade steel. Now, does it say on here anywhere? Let's see, I'm trying to look for it. I love the fact that there's no billboarding of any kind on here. That's really cool. So it's very limited. Is there anything on the inside of it? Let me, I'm trying to look on the inside. No nothing it's very very clandestine i love that it's got a steel bar insert 
over travel stop. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get the flashlight here. All right, so can you see that over travel stop? There's the over travel stop right there. Steel bar insert there, and I'm not seeing anything on the inside. Nothing written on the inside. It doesn't tell me one of 20 or anything like that. So very minimal billboarding altogether. I wonder if it's on the inside of the clip. Let's look. Sometimes they put it on the clip. I don't see anything on there. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, personally, I like that. <coughs> Some people like to see the billboarding, like to see the blade steel, but we already saw that in the box, right? You saw that right here. Uh, 20 CV, 1827 titanium. They had a blacked out version, but I like this right here. I like the stone wash. This is a knife that you can use and abuse a little bit, and it won't show up too terribly much. Action's pretty good. I like that a lot. That's really nice. I think you'll enjoy that. It's certainly something worth, certainly something worth checking out. I do like that. See how I can I can actually do the single flip over, and I like that there's jimping all the way on top, so I can get up here like that, and I don't have to worry about sliding off, right? Sometimes when you don't have that jimping there, you do that, you slide off. I put my finger right up there on the top on that corner, it works just nicely. See? I don't even have to have that exact spot right there. I can be up high like that and pull it right over. That's really cool. That action's nice. And we're looking at a blade, it's a little over three inches. I mean, somebody might call it three and a quarter, three and a third, if they go to the top of the hand, handle, the scale there. That's how some people measure it, because they believe you can sharpen all the way. It has a nice sharpening choil. You can definitely choke up and do a little trigger point there. You know, you can get your finger here and here. So if you need to get up and do a little push cut, you could do that for sure. There's no swedge, you know, so if you're doing a, a, a really, cur you know, a, a deep cut, you know, one, it's a hollow grind. You don't want to be careful with that. Hollow grind can, tends to be a little thinner here. It's a beautiful slicer to go through, but doing a hard turn cut, you want something, I would recommend a, f a flat grind, because you're gonna have less chance of, of bending and, and turning the edge right there, because it comes to a nice thin edge. I do like that, nice and sharp for sure. Again, I like that edge. So you can see the edge is pretty even on that side. And then it does drop a little bit here, right? But it's pretty even until about right there. It looks like it just kind of, I don't know, whoever did it slipped it. So, yeah, that's all right. Very cool. Very cool little knife. All right, we'll do a full review. Cage ceramic bearings, obviously. You can tell that's that's the case. It'll break in really nicely. I'll probably do a little video on putting in some skiffs for sure. Um, definitely. Hey, if you have any questions about this knife, um, about the unboxing, about the review that's coming up, any questions in general that you want to ask me about this, would you let me know in the comments down below any questions for the channel? I'd love to hear from you. I do try to read all the comments and reply. And I appreciate you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, entertaining, or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit the like button, would you please consider subscribing? Subscribing and liking the videos really, really helps out the channel. It allows the channel to grow, allows me to do more things, produce more content, ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you, especially to you guys who watch the videos, who like, who subscribe. You guys are amazing and I appreciate every one of you. Hey, and if you haven't already and you're interested, maybe hit that notification button so you can be notified of future content like this video. And finally, if you are a channel member, I want to say thank you to every one of my channel members out there. You guys are amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you're on the fence right now, you're kind of thinking, hey, I might want to be a channel member, there's a link down in the description. Would love to have you. Certainly not a requirement, but would love to have you. And just as a thank you to my channel members, this is not me trying to lure you in, but there's been a lot of channel members who've supported the channel for a while now, and I just, my way to say thank you, we do a one once a month giveaway. We had one in December, we'll do one in January, and so forth. Depending on when you watch this video, maybe, you know, February, March, who knows, but I do try to do a once a month giveaway for all the channel members. It's my way to say thank you. Thank you to you guys. I really appreciate it. So, uh, feel free to join. There's different tiers, very bottom of line tiers. I do, I will give a sticker out to everybody who becomes a new channel member uh, who, haven't, who hasn't already received a sticker. Um, I also have, if you decide to become a top tier channel member, there is an exclusive holographic st sticker that I do send out to every one of you guys. So I appreciate that as well. And there's exclusive content obviously for different uh, tiers. So thank you, thank you, thank you again. I appreciate you guys. And if you haven't already, maybe um, check me out over on Instagram as well. That's 
Rob's Nerdy Knives at, in, on Instagram. Again, on Instagram. Again, that's Rob's underscore Nerdy underscore Knives on Instagram. Again, Rob's underscore Nerdy underscore Knives on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.